In this video, I'm going to be dipping some wood circles, and once the paint dries, I'm going to be adding some night sky scenes. I had an idea to try and get um, a northern lights feel with this color palette, so I have a really dark uh, midnight blue, and then I have a lighter turquoise, and then a really light blue, and then I have two shades of green, and I'm hoping that the blues and the greens blending together will create a really nice pattern. I'm going to try dipping a few different ways to see what result I like the best. Um, you can dip right on the surface that you're painting on and pour the paint on the table, or you can do a reverse dip where you pour the paint on your surface and then dip another uh, item into that. So I have some damp paper towels that I'm going to try doing a reverse dip on this first one, and then I will be dipping the second one on the surface of my table. I'm just taking a little bit of each of the colors and pouring them down. This one looks okay, but it's not my favorite. The colors didn't blend too much. I could have pressed harder before I pulled the paper towel off, but I'm going to take some paper and swipe it and see if that works. If not, I may just re-dip this one. Since I had so much paint on my table, um, I decided to re-dip this one, and I also end up re-dipping the smaller one. I want the colors to blend a little bit more and not be so blockish across the uh, wood panel.
I like those second dips a lot better. The colors are nice and blended and I feel it gives it a little bit more of an organic feel. And since I still had quite a bit of paint, I went and got two more items. I have a hexagon wood coaster and then I also have just a little four inch canvas. So I can do quite a variety of final paintings just with this one color palette of dips. And on this small canvas, to make sure that the sides are also covered, I go ahead and dip the sides too. So I let all of the paintings dry overnight and to embellish them I'm using fluid acrylic paints in both white and black. With the white I'm going to use a toothbrush and flick the white paint across the surface to create stars. And then with the black paint and the small paint brushes I'm going to be painting trees and some other scenes. And unfortunately, my last video that I had filmed where I was painting the trees, the file got corrupted. So I am showing the final pictures, but unfortunately I don't have that footage to show you. I really, really like the way that these turned out, so I will be doing some more in the future with some different color palettes. 
But as you can see, this is really fun. The dipping creates a really awesome background that you can use in a variety of ways. And this is just one of them that I really enjoy doing. But thank you all for watching the video. I hope you'd enjoyed. If you aren't already subscribed, please do so and leave a like and a comment. And I will see you all in the next video.